Good morning. My name is Sean Siebert, and I'm the task force chair for the Hashtag Boom event. So throughout the day, we're going to be giving out several thank yous, but I want to start by giving a thank you to each of you for being in attendance today. Um, this is a beautiful sight. I wish everyone could stand up here and see what I'm looking at. Uh, but from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you giving up a day, um, spending with us with this amazing group of speakers, so thank you. Uh, on behalf of Veterans United, I would like to offer our thanks to your organization for your sponsorship of the event. And it is my honor to introduce 12-time Emmy Award winning Sarah Hill. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah. Hi, guys. How are you? And hello to the people watching um, online right now on our live stream. Glad that you joined us from all around the world. So we have a, hang a hangout open. I want to introduce a, a concept to you called uh, C-Commerce. And guys, is it OK if I step off this stage? Yes, he's giving me the thumb up. So I'm untethered. How cool is that? It is so awesome to see such young, energetic individuals. And I'm going to talk very quickly. But if you have any questions about what we talk about with glass, with C-Commerce, which is the new layer of e-commerce that's bubbling up right here in the Silicon Prairie, not in California or New York. It's happening right here in Missouri, in mid-Missouri. And how cool is that? It's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to take a photo through glass. And if you guys on this side of the room can show me your boom face, that would be awesome. And then we'll post it to our feed. OK, glass, take a picture. OK. And um, if you go to my Twitter feed right now, you will see a picture of um, your boom face. So uh, we're going to talk about glass, about C-commerce, and also about human media as well. But let's start with a video. If you can play the video at the upper left-hand corner of the screen, that would be awesome. This is what Google Glass is. OK, Glass. Record a video. This is it. We're on in two minutes. OK, Glass. Hang out with the Flying Club. Google photos of tiger heads. Hmm. You ready? You ready? Right there. OK, Glass. Take a picture. glass and it's a wearable computer for your face and Nick Trebu where's Nick um, he is in the audience right now you can try it on with him if we have any other glass explorers in the room raise your hand as well uh, come up to us during a great a break we'd be love to share it with you so last year at boom we talked about human media which are the new layer of social of your social media tree and how you grow your roots of your social media tree not only wide or horizontally but deep via group video chat. 
Um, you can follow me on my social platforms. That's the Twitter address where you'll see the picture that I just posted and how easy it is. Um, you can also catch us up on what we're doing at Veterans United um, on our Plus platform. That's at Veterans United and also at Veterans United um, on Twitter as well. And you can see some of the pictures that we posted from the Boom event. This is a Google Plus Hangout. How many of you guys have been in a Google Plus Hangout? 10 person group video chat room, right? That also has the potential to stream live on YouTube. It allows you to develop closer relationships with people beyond just text based social. There are individuals watching this event right now uh, via a Google Plus Hangout. It's the new layer of social. Human media is the new layer of social that's happening right here at Columbia. Businesses are using it, individuals are using it, startups are using it in order to put themselves in the same room with key influencers. So let's talk about human media and the human media movement. Uh, it's a free broadcast tower for your face because the Google Plus Hangout also streams live on YouTube. And with a combination of Google Glass, you also have the ability to stream live on YouTube. I could be live on YouTube right now and have 10 other individuals um, in my purview asking me questions live in real time, okay? That's the difference between text-based social media and human media. It immerses you inside an event live in real time. You're not watching an asynchronous still picture or a video being posted. You have the ability to see what's happening live in real time. It's a magic carpet that can take you around the block or around the world in a matter of seconds. This is a beach in New Zealand. This is US Secretary of State John Kerry, who we had the ability to be in the same room with. Politicians are using it. Jason Kander is using it. He did a hangout with us as well. A youngest elected official in the nation. They are using it essentially as, as virtual door knocking. Instead of going physically from door to door, politicians are using human media and hangouts in order to become um, travel on that virtual magic carpet. You guys know him, John Stewart, right? He was in the same room with us in a hangout. We hosted a hangout with Jeremy Lin of the Lin Sanity Craze. It allows you to develop closer relationships with key influencers, people who have the potential to share information about your startups, share information about what you're working on. C-commerce, it's a new word that everyone in the startup community should have in their vocabulary. It's not just text-based e-commerce, we are no longer completing transactions on websites and putting them in a shop, shopping cart and we don't talk to a live human being. That's done. What's happening all around the nation and right here in Missouri um, is something called C-commerce. Helpouts. How many of you guys have heard of Google Helpouts? Helpouts are live video combined with a fan financial transactions. So geography knows no bounds. People right here in Missouri can be giving yoga lessons to somebody in the UK. Somebody right here in Columbia, Missouri can be teaching piano lessons to somebody in Australia via the Help Outs platform. It's a crowdsourcing tool attached to live video chat with a Google Wallet transaction. And every time that you use it, it creates what we call Google Juice for FSEO and allows you uh, to complete those transactions. I mentioned it was a, a crowdsourcing tool. It's kind of like a video phone book. Now we have the ability for businesses and startups to find each other through that phone book, through that C-commerce phone book of help outs. This is what a help out looks like. This is a, Re a Rebecca Minkoff, she's a fashion designer. You have a live video feed going on in the middle and then on the side you have the ability to check out. You have the ability to purchase the clothes that she was just showing in her live runway. It's live in real time. Um, you're actually talking to a real human being and have the ability to complete those financial transactions. You might have seen a taste of this um, with Amazon, the Amazon Mayday button. By the way, the lady on the upper right hand side is Amy Pathrath. She was a Missouri journalism graduate, but it allows live customer service. And this device on my face is going to enable that live C commerce customer service even more. Uh, there's research behind the fact that C-commerce and interacting with people via webcam uh, works because it reduces eye contact, it reduces hostilities online when you use eye contact. So if you have someone who is in a customer service uh, situation and they're upset, if you can get them in the same room with you virtually, right, via video chat, you have the ability to peel away all those layers of misunderstanding and misinformation when you can actually interact with them online. And it, it, research shows that it quells hostility. 
This is a 1.5 ounce wearable computer for my face. It's called Project Glass. Um, glass explorers throughout the country are testing these right now. They're not available to the public, but it allows individuals to have conversations in real time. And thank you, Elian Felter, who just tweeted me. So um, for instance, everything you can do on your phone, you can do on your face. So if you, somebody tweets me right now, Sarah Midbo, I have the ability for that to come in my field of vision and then all of a sudden fade away. So you have the ability to take photos, you have the ability to take pictures, and instead of um, sharing them to your platform with 14 clicks, which would take on your smartphone, it takes me two clicks, you saw it, two clicks to share it to my Twitter, my Facebook, my Google+, Pinterest, whatever social platform that you would like. I kind of liken uh, your smartphone to an oven, right, and glass to a microwave. So you can, you need your phone still until they improve the technology to do everything that you would need to do, but glass allows you to do it faster. It's a microwave, it allows you to nuke the information faster. Here's a little example of what uh, glass is gonna be used like for real estate in the future, if you can play that. View the property listing and then easily scroll through the photos with a flick of your finger. Trulia for Glass can also read the property description, so you can decide if you want to learn more. 3,753 Cesar Chavez. This stunning top floor condominium offers elegant formal rooms, original moldings, coved ceilings and hardwood floors throughout. If you want to see the property for yourself, Trulia for Glass can give you directions. Directions to 3753 Cesar Chavez Street. The destination is on your right. You have arrived at your destination. And actually at Veterans United, we're using glass um, for real estate agents and are doing mock tours and trying to show agents how to use the wearable technology. Also using them for virtual tours as well. This is a Pearl Harbor survivor who is wearing glass. Uh, we had an individual, Danny Wexman, hi Danny, in the back of the room, um, who took glass and uh, was able to give virtual tours to veterans and be the arms and legs of those individuals using Google Plus Hangouts who didn't have the ability to see their memorials. Taking them to Normandy um, in France to see the beaches of Normandy, taking them to their hospital bedside or to their VA or nursing home. We'd encourage you to tell other individuals about this program. Uh, and it is called Hero Tours. And if you go to vu.com slash hero tour, you have the ability to see how wearable technology and human media is taking veterans to places they might not otherwise get to see. Um, so what is glass and see commerce and human media? It is definitely not a horse. As Henry Ford said, if I'd asked people what they wanted, they'd have said faster horses, right? Well, really what glass um, and sea commerce is, is more of a centaur, right? It's half human and it's half horse. Um, and we're all still trying to figure out how to ride it. Uh, but it's definitely not something that we've been used to. This is a, a great quote that I love from Ron Davies. He's a, he's a friend of mine and he says, all things have a tendency to return to their original state. As metal returns to rust and into the earth, so does communication move through technology only to return to people actually having connected conversations. We're actually going to have to learn to talk to each other again, right? Because technology, instead of bringing us apart, is actually bringing us together and allowing us to have more of those human relationships. I'm gonna close with this video about Google Glass. Um, it's a neat clap, clap video and shows you all um, how you can provide people with that first person perspective. And again, in between the breaks of these sessions, um, come up to me, come up to Nick Trebu. We would love to let you test drive this. And hopefully Glass will be available in June of this year. That's the rumor. Don't know how much it's going to be. Range is 500, sometimes you hear 600, sometimes you hear 1,000, so we don't really know. Uh, but definitely come and try it on. Tell others about sea commerce and the neat things that are happening not on the East Coast or the West Coast, but right here in Columbia, Missouri, with the ability for us to open up our e-commerce platforms to the world via eye contact, via group video chat, and sea commerce as well. So here's that video, and we'll close this out. Do you want to clap your hands? Oh. Here, girl. I can do it. Hey, you got it. <laughs> ah.
Hey, up here. High five, Wallace. High five. No, no high five for you. 